Hello and welcome back to our civil plan maintenance training. This is Farooq from Cube ERP. So in the last session we had created an order from notification and we had uh, we had done a confirmation for the order. Uh, the goods movement were all posted. So the next step for the the process will be we need to do uh, we need to do some confirmations. We need to do uh, technically complete. So let's go into the order and see what is, what has happened to the costs. So we go by transaction IW32. This was the order number. So we are in the order. Let's take a look at the costs. So the plan cost and actual cost is some bit of a difference. Uh, we did added some spare at the some component at the last moment also which is fine so the next step for us will be to do now technical completion so to do the technical completion uh, we go here order functions complete technically complete So order has been changed. If I go back and in the, in the order, I can see the status has gone from release to taco, which is technically complete. So the next step will be now once the taco has been done, it will be picked up by FICO and they will do an analysis of plan and actual cost. Uh, do a variance of plan cost minus actual cost or actual cost minus uh, plan cost. Sorry. So the for the variance calculation, uh, the transaction is is KKS2 and this is basically integration to FI. If I go into the transaction KKS2, uh, there will be a screen which with a small pop-up which will ask you what is a business area because I was already doing this transaction so it has got the business area in the background so it does not ask me for that. So there are two options here so you have to give the first you need to give the which is a period so this is period 5 fifth month and I'm going to do a test run first. This is my order number. So once I process, so it says processing completed with no errors. Uh, I can go back, take out the test run indicator, do the detail list and execute. So it, it will now do a pro, uh, variance calculation in the background which will be uh, all actually posted into the finance. So once this is done, the next step for us will be to do settlement, which is the transaction is KO88. So order has to be settled, which is again done by finance. KO88. Again, we've got test run and check transaction data. Uh, I will just go by, I'll take out the test run, execute. So it's uh, doing a calculation in, or the posting in the background. So this is our order number. These are the period, physical, physical year, controlling area, execution type. Execution has been ex uh, settlement has been executed. Update has been done. You, you can go here to see the variance. So this is the variance. You can go into the counting document to see what are the documents which have been created. So a number of documents have been created, accounting, profit center, controlling, project cash management. If you want to see any document, you can just double click and it will open accounting document for you. So this is more of a like uh, finance integration from plant maintenance which you should know you don't have to I mean, really do these things it's better to have a, just an idea so the last step for us is to do a business completion so that we can now close the order let's go into IW32 
in IW32 now we can just close this order by doing a business completion once we do the business completion the order will be completed but our notification will still be open so we can just do the business completion directly from here or we can go to order functions complete complete business so it has already done it uh, let's go and see what is the status status has changed to closed if you look at the status business processes so everything is almost gone red so there's no change possible now for this order so although the order has now been closed our notification is still open you remember we started this one from our notification so let's go back to our notification So what we are going to do is we are going to ask it that okay in process again. So we are going to reprocess it and press enter again to go back. Uh, let's put say motor has been fixed for noise and running hot. And now we can just complete it. Check it flag. Yes, system is going to do yeah reference date, whatever is the date of the notification. So the notification is also now complete. So this completes our process of creating a maintenance order from a notification. Thank you, and I will see you in the next session.